Jersey Bird, welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 3. Today, we are going through the entire hotel, getting all of the gems and the booze, or at least we're trying to get all those at once in today's episode. Just going through each floor. Of course, you can see I'm right before the segment where we follow Mario up to the top of the hotel. It seems like this is just where the game saves. You can't really go back to the hotel after the game is done. It always saves right before the final boss, sort of like in like Breath of the Wild. It was the same way. So with that being said, we're actually just going to leave, go to the elevator, and sort of just go back to Professor Yagad as well, buy a lot of the different gem finders and everything. That'll just sort of be the goal for today's episode. The bonus episode is three things. First off, find all the gems, then find all the booze, and ah, angry uh, things. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do today, is deal with this. Okay, get him. And I got him. Okay. Uh, but with that being said, it should be a lot of fun, and then by the end of all of it, I wanna go ahead and see the the director ghosts. I wanna see his uh, thing. What is it called? You know what I mean. <laughs> the the movie that he made. I thought like that'd be an awesome way to finish off the episode, so we'll be checking all of that out today. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are back at Egad's place, and like I said before, we are just going to uh, go to the shop first, and I don't think I'm gonna need any more gold bones, but I'm gonna buy as many of these as I can. Um, there we go. So like, how much do they cost each? A thousand gold, because I don't think there's anything else we can spend our money on. So literally just buying all of these and then do the same thing with the boo finders. Um, well, actually for the boo finders, if I can find them on my own, because a lot of these fours I just haven't revisited, like maybe that'd be a good thing. I don't want to like cheat on them all the way, you know? But, uh, for the gems, I've already tried searching for them, so these are one the ones I just sort of missed. Um, so we're just gonna go through it again and just sort of see what we can end up finding, and hopefully everything goes well. Okay, so there is everything for the gem finders, and we have a couple of gems on each four we need to find, so that's what I'm gonna be trying for on this one. It seems like there's already, if we take a look, a gem in this room, and then the gem in another room. So this one I'm a little confused about. I don't know what the dealio is, so we'll just have to sort of search around. And that's sort of the main goal for today's episode, is just sort of search around these rooms that we need to, um, and sort of see how things go. Uh, and hopefully everything is gonna be fine. Um, since we've already found the boo on this floor, I don't think we need to find another one, but I'm gonna just try to pay extra attention to everything. Because I know that I have already found the gem in here. You can see it's already clear, already have found it. I don't think it tells you exactly in the room where it is, it just tells you that it's going to be in this room somewhere. So, that's what we need to sort of search and find out. Because I know that we have opened up this car, and inside here was a gem, but as you can see, we've found that one. So not that one. Is there supposed to be something maybe over here? Over there? Not really. Oh, you know what? I bet you, have we ever done this? I don't think we have. You can pull off these little hatches, there's one right there for Guiji, and then there's another right here, which is also just an open vent. Have we been behind it? Oh, we have at some point. Okay, I'm sort of starting to remember this. Yeah, and we could go up here, and I couldn't quite reach this. What's the deal with this one? Um. Oh yeah, there's a grid right here. There's a little grid on the floor. Guiji can fall right through it. He gets hurt by a spider. Out of the way, spider. And we can just grab it just like that. <laughs> I didn't see that grid before. So there's the first gem here. And I'm pretty sure I know where the next one is. Um, It should be on the little staircase area. And if we turn to Guiji, I think there is something he can fall right through. So yeah, I think that other area though, I have already found the thing, or oh, I've already gone into here, uh, right over this way. Yeah, as you can see, he just sort of goes through a couple of pipes, and then he just pops out that side. Or have I done this? I don't know, there's a couple pieces of gold, but nothing too crazy. Anyways, there's that done. It does seem, though, that the only thing you can spend your gold on are these sort of cartridges and extra health, or extra bones. I'm sort of a bit bummed by that. I was hoping that there'd be more to do with the money. When it comes to collectibles in general, I mean, I don't know what we get for getting all of them, but I I, I really just, I have no clue. <laughs> so we'll have to find out as we move along here, but for right now, I'm going to head up this way, because it should just be, yeah, right over here. I remember this. And all we have to do is have Guiji fall down, and then right over the vending machine, we can get rid of the spider. Thank you. 
and collected all basement gems, check. Very cool. And we'll switch out a Guiji, and we will go to the next floor now. So, actually, I think this is the next floor right here, which is perfect, which means we can keep just looking from here. So, we take a look at the map. There are a number of gems I'm missing. Well, this is its own thing. And then that's 2F over here, I think. That's how it works. So 1F is a little confusing. Oh, oh, also, I can feel the vibration for Abu. Trying to find out where he might be. Uh, It's starting to vibrate more and more. So I'm gonna guess he's somewhere over here, or is it getting weaker? It's hard to tell. Um, oh, no, it's getting stronger. Weird. Hmm. Yeah, I still don't know what to do with this gem over here. <laughs> we'll figure that out in a moment. Okay, look in this box, nothing. Yeah, where is this boo? I'm starting to think he might be more like in here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. He is somewhere. This is it, this is it, this is it. Yoo-hoo, I'm Gumboo! Ooh, we found me! Y'all stay back now. Gumboo. I don't understand what the uh, pun is there. But anyways, where did, where did he go? Oh yeah, that's right, I used the dark light. Oh, here he is, I found ya, I found ya. All right, let's get ya. Wait, did I do it wrong? What was with that? I mean, I guess I did. Yeah, I just was, I wasn't supposed to flash him. All right, well, let's see how this goes. That wasn't too bad. We gotta just get him again. He didn't really move very much. And... Got him. Thank you very, very much. All right then, so we got the boo for this four, which is awesome. So, uh, yeah, we've gotten V1 and 1F. With that being said, I do need to go to B2 at some point. We'll just have to remember that later. Yeah, the thing I'm a little bit confused about for right now. Oh wait, oh! You see this? I didn't see that before. That lowers a chandelier on that side. And then on this side, Luigi can lower that one. I don't think we've done this before. Now what? Uh, or maybe we have done this. I can't quite remember. <laughs> Seeing how this doesn't have anything interesting going on with it though, uh, I'm going to assume, I feel like it was supposed to drop a gem, but we've already gotten it. Okay, so not that. <laughs> oh man, because like obviously, there's something we can do here with that, but I've yet to figure this out. There's not anything missing. I mean, obviously I can answer the phone. Doesn't have anything to say. But there's gotta be something with this, you know? I just don't know what. Oh, okay, so we can make this spin. I don't know why Guiji looked down there. Uh, awesome, does this do anything? I mean, it gives me a bunch of money. Oh, and it does give me a gem, there we go, okay. I figured it out, I, I just didn't really know. <laughs> oh, but we have three gems we're missing. Okay, so I know of the blue gem, but where's the other one? Uh, I guess maybe one of those, either there's two in the room to the left, which is crazy that I'm missing both of them, or there's one in the, those upper rooms that actually counts as one F and not two F. Okay. Oh, oh, the couch is missing. I can't imagine this will be much, so this is probably just money. I may not have already found this. I can't remember. Uh, no way, it's a gem ghost. I can't believe it. <laughs> okay, get him, get him, get him, get him. You get back here. And we should be able to get you no problem. So which gem is that then? That's the the diamond gem, okay. Huh. So I still don't know what's going on with that. But I don't know, like maybe, maybe there's like a button somewhere that I'm missing. I, I feel like I've explored that room. Maybe there's more up here. Like I've looked through this. This has nothing to do, that has with, that's the next floor. So I know I was pretty close to figuring this out, I felt, but I, I just couldn't figure it out. But is there anything else around you? Like maybe against the wall? I don't see anything. Is this rug? Can I suck up this rug? Oh, I think I can. There we go. Oh, here we go, finally. 
I figured it out, maybe. I can only imagine. So what's going on in here? You can't really tell, but I guess I can just knock that out. Sweet. <laughs> Let's go grab that gem then. Can we just walk right through? Yes, he can. And along with it, he can get this gem or not. Okay, well, you know what? It doesn't matter. We'll switch back to Luigi. We'll go over there. We'll get that blue gem. And that's gonna be everything for 1F. And then we'll go to 2F because it's right there. We might as well. And then when I get back to the the uh, the elevator, I might wanna do... Oh, we just gotta go up and grab it. Collected all grand lobby gems. Perfect. Uh, but we might just wanna go to B2 since that way after that we can just worry about going to everything in order from bottom to top and that just might be easier to keep track of. Uh, but yeah, that's everything on this floor. So now we're moving here and this is where we need to keep in mind that there could be booze again. So just wow. keep that in mind, wow. look around for some stuff. I think what I first have to do is just destroy what I can. If I see something like this table, if I can hit it with a suction cup, make sure to do so. Look around as well, trying to find any kind of uh, thing I can maybe interact with. Like this chandelier is also the one we can start spinning. And that opens the door. Wow, I didn't even see that rope connected to it all. Yeah, okay. And that's going to be the red gem. If I can grab it. Yep, I just gotta reach onto the table. That is already gonna be the fourth out of six. That's good. Let's also suck up all of these. I do like the idea that it tells you which room it is in, but you still have to sort of figure it out yourself. That's been nice, I feel. Okay, there's not too much going on around here. So what I do wanna check then is the map and see where we gotta go next. We need to go two rooms to the right. So let's down, up, and right. And we'll see what's going on. That's the room with all the billiard balls where we got our first ever achievement, I believe. So yeah, that should be interesting. Going over here. Going up this way, and then one to the right. So what could be going on in this room that I missed out on? I'm sure quite a lot. Uh, whoa, 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 oh, I didn't even realize I was looking for that. I'm Luigi, number one, wow, help me, big bro. That's you, I'm doing you, you just then. <laughs> oh, where is he going now? Oh, he's leaving. Oh, darn, I didn't really even mean to do that. I wasn't even paying attention to the vibration. So I guess I found him in the wrong, or looked for him in the wrong spot, you know? Ooh. See, I think it has something to do with either with the pool table, because I remember exploring this room quite thoroughly. I want to search them all before I look, or I start like knocking the balls in there. Like, maybe that's the idea, but it isn't. Okay. I really, oh no, you're not supposed to get the white ball in, that's the last one, or no, that's not, you're just not supposed to put that one in at all. I don't think there's much here I can do, but I might as well try. I could get the white ball back out, right? No, I can't? Darn. It's, it's sort of weird that you can even reach in them to begin with then. Like, what's the deal with that? I do not know. <laughs> might as well get them all into here then. That's it, come on. Now reach in, nothing. Huh, I might as well look around some of the other spots. See if maybe there's anything missing. Oh, there is sort of, it looks like, no, that's not a missing light on the wall. Because it could be as simple as that, that there's just something missing in this room that I didn't do much with and that has a uh, gem ghost inside. So if that's the case, we just need to keep looking around. Oh, okay, here we go. So I can maybe launch this sword into there and does that count? Oh, there it is, okay. So there really was something you just had to put in there. And it is the purple gem. So we're just looking for one more. It's going to be in the hallway. The question is where in the hallway? The hallway's pretty big. So we might just wanna poke around here for a little bit. First off, of course, just like look around with us. Oh, there are some hall monitors here. Oh, uh, that didn't work. Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay, the boo's somewhere around. Oh, he is somewhere super close too. Um. If I could get you guys first, that'd be great. Um, trying to get this guy with these two, but it didn't work. Okay, uh, where'd you go? That's it. Okay. So before I dig in too much, I do wanna look for wherever the boo might be. 
Hmm. So is he in here then? I think that's what it's trying to say. Nope, no vibrations whatsoever in this room. So he definitely is around, but he's he seemingly is in this hallway. I think. It's vibrating a lot for this room though, so let's just keep looking for the boo for now. Okay, so yeah, he's actually in here somewhere. Um, hmm. Oh, it's going crazy. This is it, this has to be it. No, yeah, okay. I'm Luigi, number one, one of us is gonna have to change. Okay, uh, we'll have to see about that. Okay, where are you? Oh, that's right, I keep on forgetting, you don't work like the other ghosts do. Um, so where are you? You're over here, ow. Oh wow, that hurt. Come on, now you're in trouble. We're doing that. <laughs> I love how ridiculously quick that is. Okay, where is he then? There he is. And you're in trouble now. Got it. Okay, so another boo captured. Awesome stuff. Luigi's gonna, or Luigi's gonna do his dance. So now there's Luigi, Gooigi, and Booigi. And don't forget Waluigi. There's a lot of EGs. So let's go back, because we're not done looking through this hallway, where there could be things quite literally anywhere. Can I flip this sign? You bet. Oh, you know what? This is something. This is something. Whenever it's in like a shape where it can be spun, it can probably be spun. And look at that, yellow gem. Good job, Luigi. We collected all the mezzanine gems. Awesome, so that is that area done. And like I said before, we're gonna go back to the uh, basement too, so that I don't have to worry about going back there later. Um, and then, you know, we'll just keep making our way through things. It'll be awesome. So here we are in, oh man, this is going crazy right off the bat too. Or at least it was. I guess just to sort of warn you like, hey, you're in the zone now. But I do wanna take a look at the map first. In the map, there are two gems we were missing, and we know the location of one of them. One of them is here, and I just couldn't figure out what in the world we got it. Ah, <laughs> dude. Um, well, first, we're getting rid of these guys, huh? So is it vibrating down here? It sort of kind of is. But also, like, not really. I guess it wants us to go through this door. Okay, so let's just focus on finding the boo first. I mean, maybe we're supposed to be up the stairs right now. I really don't know. So I don't see anything too much I can in interact with here, or it could be. Isn't that weird? Uh, not anywhere like back here, that was just some extra cash, which is cool and everything. I'm thinking it might be up the stairs, so let's go back. Well, it isn't in this toilet, right? No, definitely not. Um, hmm. Yeah, for right now, because it's usually something we can directly interact with. So I'm guessing if we go back up the stairs, there might be something over there, and we'll see if it vibrates as heavily as it does here. But I was thinking like, how in the world can we get to that one gem? I'm really not sure. Because I've explored things like really thoroughly back here just so that in the case, I mean maybe it's like there's like an opening back this way I just don't see, but it doesn't look like it. And there's still a chest up there I haven't found, you know? It's just like, how do you get up there? I don't know. Um. But I think it's the same deal. Once we get over to the store, it starts vibrating like crazy. And then from over here, what can I interact with? Because honestly, there's not much in terms of interaction. And it's definitely in this room. There's either that. Okay, so it has to be this. Oh my gosh, I'm come booster, Floosh! Looks like you stayed in the in the bath for too long. Can I even get down there from here? Oh, he's gonna come up to us, isn't he? I sure hope so. Uh, wait, was that wrong? Oh, that was wrong. I don't know, that was sort of weird. Like, that's how, it, uh, what? Okay, whatever, whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it for right now. We can always find out where he is later. What I wanna find out is how do I get up to this stuff? Cause like this one just leads 
to that pipe over there. I wonder if maybe switching this will switch up the pipes to some degree? I wouldn't think so, but we might as well try it. Because it's just sort of chilling up there in a weird way. Nope, same exact spot. Yeah, I'm really not sure about this one. Because it's like, it's weird, because it doesn't really indicate where the point of entry is at all. And it's very confusing. Wait, is there? Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Is it that simple? Because that looks like a wall to me. I don't know, that looks so confusing. Like the lighting to that makes it look like there's a wall in the way. It was as easy as that the whole time. So as you can see, there's only one gem missing and that should be uh, way over here. Yeah, I think I remember this one. It was like sort of on a chain. I just don't quite remember what we have to do with that chain. But we'll figure it out. So this is vibrating like crazy again. So I'm trying my best to find out where it could be. It seems like here. No. Is it, can I interact with the coffee machine or something? Because there's like nothing to actually interact with around here then. Like that's the weird thing. Is there like a different way to get him to come out? Maybe the intercom? Maybe this? Oh, 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 oh. And that's gonna make me coffee, but it doesn't do anything with the boo. And that's where it just gets so weird. Maybe once I make coffee with it proper, I know this got us a gem before, but I just, unless he's just in here. What do you, I walked up to that and it gave me no option to interact with it. What is with this? I don't understand. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Ah, I know, I stayed into the bath for too long. That's ridiculous, I hope you know. I did this, I walked up, you guys saw. It did not give me an option to interact with it. That was baloney. So I know that the final gem I'm missing is right here. And I do know that we can raise this platform. Is it really as simple as this? And I just messed up with it? I mean, I guess I could just vacuum it from here. I guess so, I don't know how I messed it up so badly. Maybe, I mean, we were in the water, weren't we? I came back to it, but I guess I just didn't realize. But yeah, we, we I guess we could just do that all the whole time. Almost got squished there. So now I'm just searching through the whole level looking for Boo, and then we can get out of here. So I'm trying to find out exactly what it wants me to do. I think he's either gonna be in the fridge. Yeah, he has to be in the fridge. Has to be, this is where it's strongest. Let's go for it. Yes, Foosh and Kabooster, is, is it just me, or is it getting pretty steamy in here? Well, I guess this makes sense for the best place for him to be because it actually was in the room with the bath. There we go, okay. So you wanna go take a shower? How about a shower of pain? There we go, got him down to nine. And I wanna grab his cash, but I also don't want him to disappear. I don't really need the money, do I? Just go ahead and get him. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so now that we've gotten the boo on this floor, we are good to just get out of here. <laughs> this area was fun, but it's also a little bit of a pain to traverse, so I'm glad to say goodbye to it for right now. Okay, so we are on floor three, the hotel shops, and I'm just trying to look around uh, for the boo because I can already feel this thing vibrating like crazy. And I just wanna try to make sure. Seems like it might be in this bathroom. Either that or in this trash can. Which, if it's not in here, I don't lose the boo. You can only lose the boo if you interact with something that's not the boo when you know, you're supposed to be in the room with boo. So that's vibrating a lot, but is this vibrating more? No. But this is the most. So let's interact with that. He was in that one? Hiya, I'm Kung Boo. Bow to your sensei. And now he's gone. Great. I'm not good at this, am I? Can you get these bats out of here? Be gone. Can you stop that? <laughs> oh, they're the worst. Anyways, I know that we gotta go over this way and get Guiji in here, and then there's something we can do. I don't exactly know for sure what, because there's a lot of running water around here. 
can turn on the sink, that doesn't actually do anything. So I was just trying to find out how do we turn off the water so that we can get over there? Because there's a gem waiting for us if we do. I'm trying to think about this. Like maybe we turn on the water over here? Obviously that doesn't seem to work. Interacting with the toilets. Oh, okay, I see. I see. I see what you're doing. Took me a second, but I got it. All right here, go on down, Gooigi. And it looks like maybe we can mess with the, the plumbing from down here. Hmm. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. That pipe seemed like it was missing, but I guess not. Oh no, come on, perfect. And, hmm, aha, here we go. Exactly what we needed. And get rid of you as well. Just trying to grab the extra couple of dollars since it's here. And we should be able to turn this pipe off. Perfect. So now Guiji could come down here from there. He's giving himself a round of applause. Can we go back up from here? Oh, that'd be cool if I could. Seems like I can't though. Uh, all right then, Guiji, go back through again. I think I might actually have to steer clear of this though. Is there any way I can like forcibly open this door? I guess not. So my best chance for right now is just to go and get it, but I just wanted to check everything else out. So here's our purple gem. Perfect, and that means we're only missing one more gem. So we're doing a great job so far. Uh, check this, nothing. And then this one doesn't even have a lid, so I guess we're good. Okay, so the next place we're going is all the way on the upper floor, I suppose. Uh, Yep, it's over here on the second floor. I didn't know that you could get up here on the second floor. That's a little weird. So I left the bathroom, but now it's vibrating again, telling me to come back in here. Is he gonna be back in the same toilet? Okay, he definitely is not. He isn't in the trash can. He might be in that. Hmm. I just, I don't know if that's strong enough, you know? Like, does down here count? I don't think so, but maybe? No, it's definitely getting stronger over here. So you know what, we're gonna get Gooigi into the bathroom to the left, and see how strong the vibration is getting out. I'd argue that's stronger. But now they're getting less as we get over here. So my best bet then is this dryer. And that did nothing. Hmm. Unless it's telling me to leave. I'm very confused about what it's trying to tell me to do right now. Because interacting with anything around is actually not doing the job. So I'm guessing that it has to be. Okay, Gooigi fell in the water. That's fine. Try this one. Was that right? Nothing, it didn't even tell me if I was right or wrong. So it's not in this room whatsoever. So it has to be either down here or not even in this hallway at all. I don't know what the chances are of that. But seeing how there's literally only one thing to interact with here, it's this pipe. Which actually, no, I cannot interact with that anymore. Maybe I'm getting this all wrong. I don't know, it's so weird. I just, I don't know what else to do. I'll try the same tool. No, I shouldn't try the same tool again because it's like clearly not this. Isn't that weird? Like, I'll try the sink. Nothing. So seeing how I've interacted with things in both rooms and no boo has popped out, I don't think he's actually in there. I think he's in this trash can. That's it. Hiya, I'm Kung Boo, you won't catch me. I flow like water. We'll see about that. Okay, so where are you? You're right here. Boom. And. 
Hello, can I get him again? I'm down to nine again. That seems to be my most common thing. Okay, where is he now? I'm just going to keep spinning until we find him. Oh, here he is, found him. Thank you very much. And we got him. Okay, so that's the boo for this floor. Now we're just scrounging around for that gem, wherever it could be. So it said it was on the second floor. So my first objective, of course, is to get on top of the second floor. Is there something, oh, hi guys. Enjoying a cup of Joe? Well, now you're gonna enjoy a cup of, oh no. Ah, I went right through you. <laughs> and you too. <laughs> It's like, hey, this guy can actually drink coffee. Let's show him a lesson. <laughs> Anyways, there's that, but the, the guy who was serving the coffee is over here. There we go. Come on, get him too. I see his friend is still over here. Or not. Uh, There he is. And let's get him real quick. And that's all. As easy as that. But it was like down there, so it makes me think, like, is there anything around here? Oh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Might have figured this out. Oh, can get some extra coins from this too. Awesome. Yeah, I can't believe I missed that. It's like this little gateway over here that leads. What is this? I guess we went like through a vent or something? I can't really tell. Yeah, what's going on with all this? Can I interact with the chandelier? Oh no, it's, it's gonna keep going. Into here, inside this chest, is the gem, okay. So collected all the hotel shop gems, that's perfect, and it also means we can head out of here. Since we've already gotten the boo, we will move now to the next floor. All right, so here we are on the, oh, and it tells me where the boo is for this one. I guess maybe because we have bought a boo cartridge in the past, it tells me right there. Um, but we're only missing one gem for this one, so let's just take a look at the map. Um, and as you can see, the gem's in there. Oh yeah, it's a super powered one. And along with it, as you can see, the boot is over this way. I don't know if it'll tell us specifically where in this room, but we'll, we'll look around a little bit and just make extra sure. So let's first get the boom. He's a little bit closer anyways. See so yeah, the controller's gonna start freaking out, but we know that, oh, hello. Oh, look at you, you're a little, uh, the little guy like shows everybody to their seats or something. I like it. <laughs> okay, not too bad, but not quite all the way. Get him again, he's coming in for round two. And we got him, as easy as that. Okay, so with that done, let's go through for real. Gross. So where exactly is he gonna be? I don't think it's gonna tell me. I think it's just random. But looking at all the things I can interact with, I can interact with that. I can't interact with anything here. I can interact with the sink, and it's going crazy about that. But just as much as the register, I feel like that's where it gets really tough to know. Let's try this. Yes, okay, ta-da, I'm Boogie. This hotel is pretty swanky. Uh, okay. Anyways, uh, let's get you just like that. You would think if his name is Boogie, he would show up on the 14th floor, which was the disco room. I'm not pressing this as fast as I could, sorry. Uh, there we go. And we can just immediately get him again. That's sort of the big perk about this being such a tiny room. There we go. And we got him, so the boo on this floor already completed. What's nice about this is some of these floors should be quite easy. Some of them will be more challenging than others, I'm sure. But I feel like as we went through the game, we did get a little bit better finding gems. I mean, on the final floor, we actually got all of them on the first try last episode, which was great. Anyways, let's keep moving. Uh, we're gonna go into the main room, and if you remember this episode that we, we actually tackled this floor, you would remember that, oh gosh, there's a guy on the stage. Look at, look at you, you're doing your little performance? Are you in a tutu? <laughs> He's very embarrassed. Uh, Sorry, I gotta get you. What can I do about it though? Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no. I was not expecting all this competition. He's very upset with me right now. Uh, he's trying to just get off the stage. He's like, you're ruining my performance, my big day. Okay, ready? That's it. Excellent, I got rid of him. I can get his owl friends over here in a second. 
There we go. Three for one. A three for one. Ow, come on though. You guys messed it up. Darn. Let me, yeah, get these guys a little bit. My health is getting a bit low. There we go, I'm trying to smash these guys a little bit. They're great dancers though. I, I, I gotta give them that much. They might be evil and trying to beat me up. Is there more stuff coming in? Who's throwing in food? How rude. There we go, is there more? Oh, there's always more. Man, it's a whole performance right now. Oh gosh, I'm in trouble too. <laughs> Let's just go off the stage for a second. Grab all of, hey, these guys, and basically do the same thing then. Oh my gosh, come on, come on, come on. That's it, there's two of these big guys right now. Oh, it just never ends. Grabbing you, please. And then get rid of your glasses and yours to, or not, whatever, whatever, it's fine. Go around behind you, get back on the stage, or not. You're gonna drag me around a little bit. And if we could just get you down to like 120 is usually pretty good. There we go. Yeah, that's funny. And buddy, take those glasses off. And hopefully you're the last one. Who knows? We just took on the entire theater. What a performance. That's it. And for real, that's all of them. Okay, so let's see what this is about. Uh, Plug it in. This is on your second, no, third time using this, I think. Oh boy. Oh, supercharged. I love doing this, it's so much fun. So I guess we're taking across, apart all these panels in the background. Oh my gosh. Anything more I can do beyond those? I don't think so. But as you can see, this is like a backstage, oh, it's like a little choir area. Yeah, I guess these panels could be removed to some degree, is the idea, so that you could, uh, huh, it's not really breaking apart over here. What if I, wait. Oh, hey! Uh, can I get him? <laughs> You're mine! Oh my gosh! Come on, get the rest of them. <laughs> Thank you very much. Why can't we just have this up the entire game? I can't get these guys. There it is, there it is. It's a little weird. Cause I can't get these parts on the floor is the problem. Okay, get you, get you. I gotcha. Boom, there we go. I guess I had to get those guys before let me in. Is there anything else around here I should get or is that really it? I can destroy this piano. Wowie. That was fantastic. I think that's all I need to do. Whew. So, let's turn on this TV. Defeated the Ghost Orchestra on 4F. Can't walk through that for some reason. So what's with the TV? Uh. Oh, okay. I think somewhere in the balcony it's trying to tell me there might be another TV. I think up there. Which is like, that's cool and everything, but how do I get up there? I think I see it, yeah. It's definitely not on this side. I mean, there might be another TV on this side, but I don't know how to get up there. Um, Weird. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I could try pulling this down again, but that clearly doesn't really do the job. Huh. I'm not really sure. I don't think it has to do with like powering it up and getting it down like that. I don't know. Thought this would be a lot more easier to figure out once we just did that. Oh, we could try going into this room and seeing if it leads over there, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It's just a little room over here. Yep, so I don't know what more to do. You know, I'm a dingus. I don't know why, but I just, I didn't play the game for a couple days. I forgot about the TV thing. <laughs> you can go through them. I know, I know. 
Okay, so what can I do? Oh yeah, just in the popcorn. Green gems, we collected all the great stage gems. Perfect, oh my gosh, I'm so silly, I know. But now we can leave from 4F to 5F and see how things go. So here we are on 5F the hallway. Ooh. Um, well actually no, it's not called the hallway, I'm being a dingus. What, what is it called again? It doesn't tell you here, does it? Uh, the RIP suite. So there is quite a few floors here. This is where Mario and Luigi were originally staying. Mario, Luigi, and Peach. Oh yeah, for this I need Luigi. Because I did see that over this way, we have a, a gem to interact with. There's a couple, and some of these we ran into, but didn't quite know how to get to, but I want to go to this one first. Because it seems like there might have been a number of rooms that maybe I didn't even go into? Well, first off, there's clearly something missing right here. Okay. Ow, I got hit by them. 501. So I believe, yeah, this is where Princess Peach was saying. I don't remember if we re-explored these or not. But I do know that if we want to, we could go into these bathrooms. And I already know this one. Can, we, can these things move? I know this one doesn't have a a gem in it, but it's it's all grayed out. Why is that not working? Huh? Maybe the suitcase was in the way. Yes. Uh, but it's all grayed out as if I haven't gone in here. So I might as well check it out now. You know? There we go. She has a lot of money in here. Of course, wherever Princess Peach goes, she has to have her, you know, personal stack of cash. Just helps her sleep at night knowing that that's in the bathroom. There we go. Oddly enough, she doesn't have any toilet paper, but I'm not here to judge. I'm here to look for gems. So that didn't really have anything. But apparently the next room over might. Oh, is there something missing here? I guess not. Uh, oh yeah, this, this floor also the same thing. Now we got more hall monitors. Okay, come on, I can get you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get this one then. I guess I just, yeah, I never, I don't know if I ever did explore the stuff after completing this floor. Because I think I was just taking too long with it and Egad was hounding me, I remember now. Just every five seconds he was complaining about something. Oh, it looks like we can go out to the balcony for Mario's. That's cool. Maybe, ah! Yeah, this isn't uh, closed at all. So what's this about? I guess there's some money out here, but nothing else? Oh, there's a chest. I, I guess I should have gotten rid of that curtain because <laughs> I can't see nothing. Um, I guess that was just a couple of coins, nothing major. Haven't really found the boo yet. I haven't been looking around too much though. But let's go inside of here. And there's apparently a gem to find. Oh, I already know. I already know. It's down this way. And we gotta use the, the suction cup to turn off the water, get over to this chest, and get the gem. Should be perfect. Okay, a bunch of coins and a pearl. Is that it? Wait, really? But it says there's a gem in here. Well, then there's gotta be something. Maybe I could do that and then run real quick. I mean, I can, but there's no reason to do that. I can't actually go over there. That's peculiar. Maybe it's somewhere in this bathroom? Maybe I should turn that water back on. Or at least I should flip it again. And maybe this shower? Oh, here we go! What is this then? It's like a little thing. I can break it open, and inside is the yellow gem. Awesome. So we might as well, for the fun of it, okay, get rid of Luigi. There we go. Uh, let's go into Luigi's room, because apparently Luigi's bathroom has been untouched. So let's go in there and see if we can't do anything with it. Over this way, and our door, of course, is missing as well. They really didn't want anybody going back in here. Too bad Luigi can do just that. Oh, I wonder if there's anything fancy in his suitcase. We can't seem to interact with it, so I guess not. Anyways, 
And this room over there. I mean, obviously it's just another bathroom, but there might be more to do around here, you never know. Okay, doesn't look like it, except for maybe some, I see some money over there, but no money over here. Okay, I didn't want to do this. I wanted to use the uh, dark light. I didn't want to, okay, okay, okay. I guess there's just some hidden cash. Weird, I've not actually seen money hidden that way in this game or any of the three games, I think. Usually it's an object. Anyways, that's all of that done. Let's go to the other side of the floor and see if we can't find Boo along the way. I haven't really seen him yet, uh, but he definitely hasn't been vibrating the controller, so just hasn't been available to catch. So way over here. I mean, maybe we've already found the Boo on this floor, but I'm pretty sure we haven't. Yeah, I do remember this, however. This was another gem I sort of got close to but couldn't figure out. So maybe now that I know a little bit more about what I'm doing, I can figure it out, or maybe I'll be a total dingus and just not understand what's happening still. A lot of those two things will surely happen. But now that we're across, all I really need to do is go into this opening. Okay, Pokemon's done downloading, that's great. <laughs> yeah, um, there's gotta be something around here. Because you would imagine that it would be in this room, but maybe it's not. You know, maybe that's the problem I'm getting mixed up here. Maybe it's just not in this room. I understand this room's supposed to be very creepy and scary and crawly, but I don't see anything. So maybe it really isn't in this room. This is, yeah, okay. I think so, because if you look at it, on the map, it's not even saying there's a gem in this room. It says there's a gem in the room above, and if you look inside of here, this is a room we've not been in. I understand now, I've got it. Okay, so what we gotta do, as far as I understand, is to actually go back, just like this, a little bit more. I like how the floor below us was the music floor, and you can tell because there's like little music markings on the, uh, the wall back there. That's pretty cool, I like that little detail. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, how did I not get these two? What? There we go. Now I got him. Now I wanna try to hit the red guy with these two. Uh, wait, no, I messed it up. Oh, come on, no, get back, get back. I don't know where his friend went. I don't care too much, I'll get him in a moment. But right now, we're getting this guy. That's it. And he's done. So where is that other guy at? He's probably hiding somewhere. Oh, there's more. <laughs> there's more. We'll deal with them momentarily. I think for right now, uh, we'll just focus on this. Because I swear I've pulled this down before. Have I really not and just gone back here? I mean, the map says I haven't, so I guess I haven't. There we go. Got him. And along with it, I am going to take you out and then let's finish you off. Excellent. Give me these gold bars before they disappear, hopefully. Oh, yeah. And we'll interact with all of this as much as we can until we figure out what's going on. So clearly it looks like it's something with that over there. Lots of money to get in here because we've never gone in here. So that's cool. There we go, that's where all the dollar bills are. Yeah. Oh, and here we go. As easy as that, there is the blue gem. I wonder if there's a way to interact with this. No, usually there is with that kind of thing, but I guess not this time. We can also pull these open, just for a little bit of cash. Nothing too much more than that. And you can see the treasure chest in the background there. Oh, golden ghost! We got him! The golden ghosts are just doing random things. Apparently this guy wanted to be laundry. Well, you see what it feels like to be laundry. Well, hopefully he's had a good experience. Okay, come on, come on. That's it. And lots more cash for us. 
So with that done, I mean, I think there's still one more gem left, left to find on this floor and we still have not had any signs of the boo. So let's start poking around with that. Uh, oh, oh, the phone was ringing. What was that about? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. So the next gem is seemingly in here, but how do we get out to that? Oh, we can go into this. But what's the point of doing that? I'm not sure. I do see that Guiji can go down here for now and open this chest up. This clearly isn't the gem, but it's some extra money and it's good to just complete it for the sake of completing it. And I do wanna get rid of these spiders. And if we look at this crack, there it is, but how do we get out to there? Oh, I see, I see, okay. So um, you can see it in the map ever so slightly, there's like a little bump. So what I think we gotta do is we gotta go back to that room, to the left of the elevator. I know this guy's all mad, leave me alone, I got places to be. Oh, come on, guys, really? Okay, if you want me to get you, I will get you. See, was that so difficult? It wasn't for me. This guy's just trying to read the newspaper. I'll read all about it. Luigi defeats a bunch of ghosts. Okay, well, there that is. And like I said, we are going into 501, which is where Princess Peach was saying, once again, there should be some kind of, oh, I see it, not this, not this. <laughs> um, I know there's so many of them. We need to move this out of the way because behind it, I might have to actually destroy these or something. Okay, lots of money in there. I guess she just didn't want to hold back buying any souvenirs, of course. You'd think that they'd, she'd be able to write like a royal IOU. I have to carry all this physical cash, but maybe that's just how she rolls. So what's the deal with this? I guess it's not like a piece of paper. Like some of the, the I feel like that happened more in Luigi's Mansion too, where there would be like a piece of paper covering up the wall and you can actually pull it back to reveal the actual opening. But sometimes it looks that way, but it's actually just something you can reveal. So now we're out on this porch and we already know it's to the right, but I might as well explore everything else around here. Okay, that's everything there. Oh, it's a, it's a plant pot. Oh, can I water these? Is that the idea? Because they look like little sprouts. That works. And same thing over this way. And now that we've done that, we can light them up. Perfect. And that's plenty more money for us. Like I said before though, it's sort of bittersweet because we still don't really know what we can do with money, if there really is anything more. I don't think so. But anyways, can we get out to this gem real quick? Uh, oh, do I have to interact with it? I just have to reach out and grab it. There we go, got all, all of the gems in the all, or the, the rip suite, RIP suite. I don't know why I misread that so badly. But now all we have to do for this floor, I believe, is look for the boo, because I'm pretty sure I haven't found it here, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, here it goes, here it goes. It's starting to get excited now. So it has to be, I mean, it could be in this room. If it was, it'd start vibrating, which it, it is not currently. So I'm guessing it's actually uh, to our left. But at the same time, it's really freaking out when we're over here. Oh, so it is in this room. So let's find out what we can actually interact with around here. Because is it trying just to tell me to go into the bathroom? I don't think so. It's really going crazy over here. I think it might be this. Nope, it was the other one. Arf, arf, I'm Bulldog. You better turn tail and run. Great. Where is he gonna go now? Uh, that's the worst when it's like, oh, it wasn't that drawer, it was the other drawer. Great. So it's definitely in this room now. So the question is, what can I interact with in here? I can interact with that, but I don't think that's it. It's either this one or this one. And this one feels just as strong as this one, but this one feels slightly more, yeah, active. Yes, okay, our far from Bulldog, I am off the chain, girl. Okay. 
Well, we'll try to find you. Here you are. Here you are. And boom. Not bad. Got him down to eight this time. <laughs> Grab all that cash as much as I can, really. There he is. There he is. We're going to get him. And this should definitely finish him off. And there we go. So that is another floor for booze and gems completed, which is awesome. The crazy thing is I'm an hour and 20 minutes into this video. I'm only on the fifth floor. So it's been taking me a while to find all these, that's for sure. But I think we'll just keep moving and move to the sixth floor now. Alrighty, so we are good to move on to floor number six. Oh man, it has been taking us a while, hasn't it? <laughs> so, let's go here, go to floor six, the Castle Mac Frights, where I know there's a couple of things we are missing. Um, obviously the boo, right? Or no, we found the boo on this one, perfect. Okay, so we found the boo on this floor, I remember now, but the gems, I know we're missing at least one or two of them. So hopefully the game will enlighten us on where they are and we can just sort of start discovering them. So we are missing just one, just one gem. And apparently it is in, not this area, but the hallway in front of it. So that's actually pretty cool because usually we have to go much farther out of our way. I'm gonna go over this way and just do the typical thing we do with Guiji. Oh no, Guiji, what are you doing? <laughs> I wanted you to keep doing that. There we go, okay. That's all we need. And do that. And let's see what's going on. Somewhere in this whole hallway section, which is a bit peculiar, because I definitely thought like, hmm, there could be more around here. So, first off, let's get rid of these statues if I can. Toss that one there. And, hold on. Toss this one just like that. And let's start poking around in some of these. As you can see, most of them you can't even walk into. Same deal over this way. Uh, I think the only one you can actually go into is this one. And of course we've already gotten the chest in here. There's nothing more. But maybe I can get this somehow. If I can find a way to get this torch. No? No way to get the torch off? Okay, because that was sort of my big suspicion because one thing you might notice, oh, here we go. Oh, maybe it's this then. Maybe this is what I've been missing. Uh, let's try this out. Boom, that's gonna slam. Can I go in here now? No, but it was in there. Okay, so there we go. There's the red gem. Collected all castle gems. And like I said, we've already gotten the boo for this area. So we're gonna just leave. We can leave here and go into the next floor already. So floor six was done in a jiffy, which is amazing. The only problem now is I have to get through this again. This is a little bit of a pain to do every single time. Um, but so be it. You know, a castle has to be protected by a drawbridge. That's the rules, apparently. But yeah, I'm glad they have gotten that done so quickly. And hopefully, I think, as we got through the game, the better we had gotten at um, getting the gems. We weren't perfect, of course, but I think that will help when it comes to going through all this. So we're going to the garden suites now. And I don't know how many I'm missing on this one. I feel like I was very close to all of them. Only one or two missing. So hopefully we can just continue that trend of there only being one missing. I know for a couple floors heading north, up this one, not heading north, <laughs> but heading up this hotel, we uh, really got close to most of them. There was only one floor that we got them all on the first try and that was the final floor though. Uh, but taking a look at this, yep, we're only missing one. And that is going to be where? That is going to be in one of the rooms to the right. So I guess I'll just make my way up and see where it is. Oh yeah, I can't forget, we're supposed to be finding the bull on this floor and things are already starting to vibrate a lot. So I can only hope that's something we can find along the way. I don't think he's in this room because this room's just like way too big and there isn't really very many things to interact with. But as you can see, it is starting to vibrate more. When we go up to these rooms up here, we'll have to sort of take a look to see how everything's reacting. Like I can go up to this, and that's not a room. That's right, okay. So I guess I'll just have to keep looking for now. Let's go over here and get across like that. But one thing I'm noticing, hold on, let me take a look at the map. Okay, so it's on level number three. The gem is at the least. I was a little worried it was saying it was on the ground floor because if that was the case, I had no clue where it truly was. So it looks like the boo is in this room. That is 
indeed the case. But where exactly? I'm going to guess inside of this flower. No, so the flowers don't count. Hmm. It can be so hard to tell which one is the strongest, but I think it's this one. Yes! Hello, they call me Bootinus. It looks like you found me. All right, Bootinus. So I guess like botanist. Oh, botanist is a person that like, you know, studies plants. That's pretty cool that we figured that out. Okay. And let's see how low we can get you down to eight. Eight seems to be the most I can get you down to. But then we can just grab you again. And see how things go here. Very nice. Okay, well, I did it. There's the boo. So we need to go up to the next floor now to find the gem. Wherever and however we might get that. It wasn't the dryer bus, but I'm glad we got the boo out of the way. I almost had forgotten about it, but then I was like, well, my controller's vibrating, that's right. <laughs> so getting up here now, taking a turn, and taking another turn, excuse me, spider. It shouldn't be in this room, but the room right in front of this room. I can ignore the chainsaw and everything. Somewhere in here, which is a little weird. Oh yeah, now this is broken. I wonder if that'll have anything to do with it. I don't think this was broken before, but this watermelon is just stuck here. Huh. But yeah, we broke this when trying to find the polter kitty. So I'm just trying to see, let's just like interact with a little bit of everything. And so far, not much. Of course, I've gone down here with Guiji before. I don't know if there's something else I could have found down this way that maybe I didn't find this time. One thing I do notice is this flower. Oh, okay, maybe this flower is holding the key to what we're looking for here. That will lead the pipe over to this, grow that flower and then we will wake that flower up and there's the gem. As easy as that, collected all the garden sweet gems. Very cool. So there is that done. All we need to do now is go to the next floor and then do that a couple more times and then slowly but surely we'll be done this episode. Okay, so for this one we're only missing one gem and actually a lot of you let me know about this. Apparently if I try to vacuum the, I think they're called the rotors, the blades, I think maybe something like that to the helicopter, out goes a gem, it's the purple one. A lot of people are also letting me know that of course I can go and talk to the film director and he will have the movie ready for me. I'm going to be doing that at the end of today's episode to finish everything off and sort of have that nice, even 100% completion. But we still have one other thing to do and that is getting the boo for this floor. So let's look around and see if we can't find him. Obviously it's gonna start going crazy. Is he in this room? I don't think he is. Yeah, he's not. All right, yeah, he's happy, he's like, yeah, it's complete. I'll talk to you soon enough. I wanna see the movie, but I wanna do that at the end of today's episode. I just feel like it'd be more fun to do it then. I don't wanna to get too distracted on our goals of getting things done. So is it in here? It is indeed in here somewhere. So, right now, it's about figuring out where exactly it is. Hmm. Oh, is the camera missing? The cameras are gone now. Huh, weird. That is very odd. Uh, it's definitely starting to look like it's in here. Unless it could be in here, but that doesn't even feel as obvious. This one feels stronger. Uh, yes, ha <laughs> ha I am the producer. I can get a table anywhere I want. <laughs> All right, so instead of producer, producer. I love how they are tied, oh no, wrong button. Um, they are tied to the theme of the floor a lot of the times, which I think is cool. Like I think in the other Luigi's Mansion games, they're a little bit random. I got him down to seven that time, that's nice. It is weird that the camera, you just can't do the camera thing anymore. I feel like that's a bit of a bummer. Anyways, where is he at? He's right here. Oh, we gotcha. You're in trouble now. And you're good. Hopefully. <laughs> there we go. So that is another one done. 
and that means we can already just move to the next floor. That one was pretty easy peasy as well. Some of these floors have been, we've just been able to storm through them pretty quick, which is nice. So here we are at the museum floor, and it, it's pretty vague, but somewhere around here, we have ourselves something to find. <laughs> this one might be a bit difficult. I don't know if I ever tried to interact with the pterodactyl. Um, hmm. Anything missing with it? Because it does seem a little peculiar to stand up back and knock it around. What if both me and Luigi start vacuuming? I don't know about this one. Because this one just seems a little odd to me. You can, can't get him down here with his little feet moving around, you know? Um, I guess not. At least not doing anything like that. I also have to pay attention to wherever the boo might be because this is one giant room. He's definitely gonna be somewhere around here. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. So, so far, no dice. Ooh, have we ever done this? Yes, we did, I remember. Or did we? I'm pretty sure we did this. Yeah, 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 okay. It gave us one we already have. Hey, ho. <laughs> okay, um, let's look around a bit more. I'm also trying to pay attention to the thing. The vibrations. Oh, is Gooigi still over there? I guess he was. Um, and we have like a big map over this way. I think I did this. I think this is what moves that over there. Yeah. Hmm. See, a little confusing. I haven't quite found, oh, this is different. All these paintings out here, right? Maybe? I don't know, are the vibrations getting stronger as I go up to these? Not really. I don't remember these. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that these were, okay, my name is Boons, you're about to be extinct. So he's gonna go run off, but he is still somewhere around here. So honestly, we could just keep trying and trying until we find him. That was a picture of a T-Rex skull. Over this way, not very much. I feel like it's getting weaker. So I might wanna go over to the left again. I wonder if I can get one of these vertebrae and launch it or something, like maybe the pterodactyl. We are trying so much with that before. Hmm. Is it really, oh, there's another pterodactyl right up there. There really isn't too much more to interact with around here. I can launch it up, but it doesn't do much. Like it does, I don't think it's gonna be this one. Or maybe it's not any of these, because you can see that it isn't really vibrate, like I mean it's vibrating, but this isn't actually doing anything. I might have to leave the floor and come back to try to get the boo this time. So that one had the picture of the boo, <laughs> what do you know? That's pretty cool actually, I like that. Hmm. Well, let's try this one. Nope. See, I don't know if that's gonna work. It's, it's very weird. Maybe I just have to go down this way now. Because once again, it's still shaking as if it's nearby. Very weird. See, I would like to take this and see where I can bring it, see what it can do. I mean, I don't know if it can do anything. It definitely is starting to vibrate more. At least more strongly. Like, what is there even to interact with around here? Not really anything that the boot could pop up from. So I'm thinking, oh, there's more, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, these weren't here before. So it's, it's, it's moderate there. It's not really much here. Over this way. That one's not really anything. I do wanna try this. <gasps> that actually worked, <laughs> okay, we got it. Got to all museum gems. Thank you very much. And, oh, this one has to be it. it ha wait, 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 hold on. Before I say that definitively, no, this one's much stronger. Yep, okay, roar, my name is Boons. You just dug up a heap of trouble. All right, uh, you're right here. Thank you very much. Oh, got you down to seven again. That's pretty good. Just trying to grab this gold before it disappears, and then we'll get back to beating you up whenever I find you. 
Are you over here? You bet you are. Here we go again. And got him. Okay, another floor completed. Not too bad. It took some poking around, but I love the concept of having to uh, pull the, the tarps off the paintings. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing these are all gonna be very similar to what they were before, just different skull pictures. Uh, so we are done with this floor, and we are going to move up to the next one which is going to be floor 10. Oh wow, we're, we're, go we're getting down there. Uh, this will be the last before the final five. That's pretty cool. So including this one, there's six remaining. In a, in a more simple way to put that. Okay. So I, I didn't even read what this floor was. I probably should have. Uh, I'll check real quick. This is the tomb suites. Oh yes, yeah, so what are we even missing here? We're only missing one gem and of course the boo. When it comes to which floor the gem is on, it is on the second floor. Gotcha. So in the meantime, while I'm getting there, oh no, I'm gonna also look around for the boo a bit. So I'm down here now. Um, It was vibrating before, but it's not vibrating near here. So something with this room. Oh man, this room's a little tricky too. I mean, I've already solved it to some degree. Um. Hmm. Because I don't think I can even do anything with this now, right? There's like no way to, oh, hey, here we go. I don't think I sent Guiji down here before. I was probably too caught up in everything. Aha, here we go. So let's try this out really quickly. In just a moment, I just wanna. And there it is, as simple as that, there is the final gem. So we've collected all the gems in the tomb suites. Very cool. We are going to get Guiji out of here then and just leave this room. That was probably one of the easiest gems I've missed so far. Um, I was just so preoccupied, I'm sure. So it's starting to freak out a little bit, so I'm guessing that it's not in a different room. Or maybe it is. I guess it could be in this room. That one's pretty strong. I'd say that maybe that one isn't as strong as this one. It can always be so hard to tell. Yeah, I'd say it's this one. Yes, okay, I am Anubu. Time to tip the scales in my favor. So I think Anubu is a reference to Anubis which I'm not really sure if Anubis is an Egyptian god or was a pharaoh. I'm not I'm not entirely inclined with that culture. So, I'm sorry if I'm wrong. But I do know that Anubis is something Egyptian. I think it's the thing with the dog head. I might be wrong though. I'm sorry if I am. And there we go. Awesome. Okay, so there we go. We got it done. And we are good to move out of here. So that is actually, yeah, that's everything in this floor. So we are good to go and move it to the next one. All right, so now we are on floor 11, Twisted Sweets, including this one, there's only five more to go. So for this one, we need to find the boo. We also have two gems to find. One is on this room and the one is in that room. I'm sort of surprised by that one. I had thought that I explored that, but I guess not, at least not well enough. Uh, so we'll look around as much as I can and find out what else is going on. So, so far there's no vibrating from the controller. Uh, the poltergeist goo isn't freaking out. So it's vibrating a lot now, but that doesn't exactly mean it's in this room. It might mean that we're close to the room that it's in. Like if I go over this way, is it gonna start vibrating again? Hello. No, so maybe it is in that room. Okay, uh, but for right now we'll just look for the gem. See, somewhere in here, yeah, this is where the golden mouse was. I get a little distracted by that, so I could definitely see, oh wow, golden crow. Uh, I could definitely see how I could have potentially missed out on some stuff around here. Oh, and I can, yeah, pull the tablecloth off of that. Oh yeah, this is the one area that was a little weird. There's like a little miniature in here. Hmm, excuse me, Mr. Mouse. I do wanna look around and see if there's somewhere I'm supposed to properly aim this, but I don't think there is. Unless I can maybe aim it through this hoop. I mean, I can, but that doesn't do anything. I can make these spin, I remember. 
but that doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, it was just in the piggy bank. Oh, well, is as is, is, is easy as that, I guess. <laughs> that was lucky of me. Alrighty then. I feel bad for these crows, but they had no way to get out. They were under a tablecloth. That's so unfair to the crows. Why treat them that way? Anyways, we are going to look around a little bit and see where my this might get really exciting. Cause there isn't, like I can't interact with any of this as you can see. Is there anything up here I can touch and mess with? I'm starting to think it's not in this room then and that it's maybe in the room to the right. It seems like the, the vibration agrees. Yep, it's still vibrating, so it must be somewhere in here. Chances are, chances are, it's right there then. I'm gonna take my chances. Let's see if it's in here. Yes, hi, I, I'm Boo Fuddler. Oh shoot, looks like you saw through my trick. So Boo Fuddler, I'm guessing like, befuddled? You know, like when somebody's very surprised or befuddled, and that's a word. All right, got him down to seven, which is good. Uh, let's try again. Was able to get him before he could even move. All right, great. We got it. So we're just looking for one more gem in this area and then we're already completed with the Twisted Sweets, which is fantastic. I can't see where the mirror ends and the real part begins. Okay, there we go. So we are going to run into this floor down this way and this is the one that I'm a little confused on because I thought I'd explored it a lot. There used to be a thing here. I, I don't remember if it got like destroyed or something. I guess it must have. What's going on with these hats? Nothing with that one. It must be something with this statue, right? You would think. But none of that does anything. Which isn't to say that there isn't still something with it. I just haven't discovered what that thing is. I don't think it's launching a trash can into it though. Hmm. Wait, was there something I can interact with over here? I'm not sure. I can get rid of more of the books, so maybe it has something to do with the books. If we get rid of all the books, maybe something will happen. It is giving me a lot of money for doing that. But it really didn't do too much more than that. Huh, okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> Let's get the chair out of there. I don't think it has anything to do with these curtains, but we might as well check. I'm just trying to find out, because I'm pretty sure it has something to do with these statues. They're just too peculiar, you know? Oh, can I check inside the hat? Whoa. Hey guys, I have a hat. Help me out. No? All right. <laughs> uh, But that might be, you know, the right step, because I don't see anything else I could interact with here. Um. Let me run through with the dark light a little bit more. Like obviously it has nothing to do with that. I know there used to be a statue there, but I think we had destroyed it for some reason. So it does not look like, oh, I do see up that way. Oh, okay, yeah, there's something up there. So maybe it's not quite directly in this room as my, I might think. It might be that I have to enter this room from a different spot, but how would I go about doing that? I mean, my gut feeling would be something with this bed, but I still haven't figured that out, if there's a way to really, truly move that bed down. Well, let's take a look at some other areas. Like, I, I really, I don't see this being the answer. Yeah, um, I'm really not sure. Wait a minute. You are the only one without a hat. I was thinking about this, I was like, okay, there's a hat. Why is there a hat? Why is that relevant? There we go, okay. Now you got a hat. I didn't think that was gonna be the thing, but that's the thing. That was so cool too, with this fancy staircase up. And can we get these books? Of course we can. And inside of here is hopefully a bunch of coins and the purple gem. So with that done, we are done with 411F and we can now move the floor 12F where hopefully there will be more things to obtain. So here we are on floor 12. Now with this one, we're only missing one gem. And I sort of like half think I know where it is, but apparently I don't because it's in this room. I was not expecting that. 
Uh, what could it be then? My first guess is something with this. Whoa. What was that? Hey, 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 what are you doing here? Get out of here. My first guess, I guess, is with the pirate ship that's been spinning around, because we were able to reveal that, but there was nothing really more I could do with it from what I saw. Um, but maybe there is? Oh, maybe I can make it go extra fast or something. Oh, that made a golden ghost, which is cool. Okay, that's what I was supposed to do the entire time there, wasn't it? Okay, I mean, that's cool and everything. Whoa, whoa, what was that about? I don't know. Oh, get him again, get him again, get him again. That's it, perfect. And I got him. Pretty cool with all that, but once again, no gem. Weird, very weird. I'm trying to think about this. Like, What other things are interactable in this area, the zone? I know this rug is a little ruffled, but I, I can't seem to interact with that. Because it's not saying this room. This room, it's its own little rectangle. Then after this, we'll find the boo, of course, but. Uh, I, I see these little balls. I don't know what the deal is with these. Hmm. I really don't know, because these barrel things can't be moved. So what could it be? Hmm. This one's really peculiar. Nope, that's not it. Don't think it has anything to do with this little island. I feel like that maybe if I got Guiji to also pull at these, that would do something. But it's not enough even then. Hmm. All right. I'm thinking this might be another pterodactyl situation. If that's the case, is there anything around it? There's more of them over here too. So like, is there anything I can grab that I might be able to fire? Definitely not over here, but let's check behind the desk. So, go like this. Okay, go up and around, and into here. Oh, maybe the globe? Aha, here we go. So let's switch that over to Luigi. Right here. I'm gonna get Luigi out of here, just for now, just for now. Um, and see. Yup, this is definitely something you can aim at these. It doesn't seem to have much of an effect in here, but we'll try this. If not, then I really have no clue what else there is to do, you know? So, I'm going to bring this over this way and try to explode these three. I missed them, but it did give me a second there where I could aim up on them. Okay, that one gave me a ton of cash. That's good to see. I grab all that. Oh, there we go, we get a pearl and the yellow gem. Collected all the spectral catch gems, very cool. And with that being said, all we have to do left on this floor is go and find the boo, which I think is going to be in the big main hallway over this way, the giant cave, which is both interesting, but also a bit of a problem because this area is huge. So there's a lot of places that it could be. Hmm. But also not many things you can actually interact with. Hmm, okay, get the bats out of the way. How did that not catch you? Come on, come on. Ah, that is silly. Got him. So let me take a look around to see what things I can actually, I can interact with that, but I don't think that's gonna be it. It's not a very strong vibration. These barrels I had expected you could interact with, but I guess you can't. <laughs> the stool is moving on its own. Very scary. It is saying that somewhere around here. Could it really be in this old chest? Oh yeah, okay, Avast me hearties, I am Boo Kinnear. Let me set sail, there's booty to plunder. So instead of Buccaneer, it's Boo Kinnear. Uh, where is he? He's over here. Do you mind getting a little closer? Thank you. And this is getting quite a lot. Oh, got him down to eight this time. I wanna see if I can't get him down to six, because we've gotten down to seven so far. But that's the most we've done. Okay, he's over here across the bridge, sort of. And got him. Okay, well, thank you very much. That is the boo for this floor done, and along with it, this entire floor is completed, so we are good to move on to what? 13F, we are getting so close to the top.
Okay, so here we are in the exercise room and things are already starting to vibrate a lot. I don't know if the boo will be in here. I think the boo might be in the next room. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's going crazy with this already. I would say even stronger with this. No, it's definitely this. It definitely has to be this. Wait, really? I don't know about that. I would argue the other one was more frequent and as strong. Yo, bro, I'm booty builder. You're lifting way outside your weight class. Okay, okay, I get it. Um, let's get you. Awesome. And let's see what's going on around here. So we have two gems missing. One of them in the room we are in right now, and the other one two rooms over. So this room I feel like I explored quite thoroughly, but I guess not. Of course, I've already poked around in there. Yeah, and there was something with these wa with the water here, but it doesn't seem to do much, you know. Maybe if I oh maybe you can see that I can spin this a little bit. No, it doesn't do anything. All right, and there's like a a mister whatever the, a humidifier up there. But once again, no real effect is seen. Hmm. What else could there be around here? Because I feel like this area is quite barren compared to some other areas. I mean, obviously I've done this. Like a lot of the areas are I'm like, oh, maybe there's something I could do. I've already done it. I've already opened that up. I've done all that. Is there anything on the ceiling maybe? It really doesn't look like it. So let me look around a little bit with the dark light. That might give me some answers because sometimes in these situations it does, but I'm not seeing anything. So it must be something hiding in plain sight, if you know what I mean. Usually when you're looking for something and you think it's somewhere maybe a little bit more hidden, it's usually right in front of your face. So that's what I'm trying to look for now. Have I looked, I've looked inside this basket. I'll look again though. Uh, same thing with this one. And then this one over here. Nothing. It doesn't seem like there's too much of a way to move these red towels, but why? is that? Why is that different than the other towels? Well, I know that, oh yeah, that's right. I remember this bell, but it not really having too much of a specific use for some reason. And maybe I was, okay, what's going on there? Um, maybe I was just doing it wrong? Maybe if I just sit here and ding it enough, something will happen. Maybe somebody will get annoyed and be like, what do you want? <laughs> I don't know. Come on. We were a paying customer, we demand service. I don't care if every employee in this hotel is a ghost. Yeah, this does not seem to be doing anything. <laughs> Maybe I could. Uh. <laughs> they could both ring it together. But yeah, not much is really happening with this. Hmm. There's gotta be more to it. Oh, whoa, whoa, what? What? One, two, three. Hold on. One, two, three. Aha, there you are. I got you, you come over here. You come over here right now. Where do you think you're going? Come on. I know you're playing tough with me right now, but I'm not gonna let you do it. There it is, there it is, there it is, come on. Almost got it. There it is. There is our first gem of this floor that we've had to get today. Very cool, glad about that. Now, let's move to the next floor, next room. No sign of a boo in here, but in this room there's supposed to be a gem somewhere. I have a soccer ball, and lots of sports equipment. Can I do anything with this rug? Because it seems like I can. You bet I can. Did I really not do this before as Gooigi? I'm gonna be very surprised if I haven't. No, this is the room with all the rats, I remember. Whoa, whoa, okay, no, okay, I thought that was all skeletons. But did I ever go into here? I don't remember. No, I must have. Yeah, I did, okay. Um. But is there anything around here that maybe I didn't interact with? Doesn't look like it. Wow. 
Okay. So I think we can eliminate that factor. That it's not under there. That there's still a whole lot of places it could be. It doesn't seem like there's an obvious place where I can launch these sports equipments. Can't go into there. I've already checked inside of here. I mean, maybe it has to do with this picture. Maybe if I give this picture a wallop. Nope. Hmm, very confusing. Aha, I was back there. All right, we collected all the fitness center gems. That's great, so now I just have to sort of scavenge around and re-find the boo, wherever he might be. I don't know. So he's definitely in here. I don't know which one. Has to be this basket, has to be. Yes, yo bro, I'm Booty Builder. You're pretty good. You've been working out? <laughs> You're gonna make Luigi blush, stop. All right, there we go. What did I get him down to that time? I feel like it was close. I don't know if it was quite down to six. I wanna get him in a moment though. I just wanna grab the gold bars while I have a chance before they disappear. Uh. So where is he at in this one? He's over there, <laughs> oh, come on. So he is at seven health, okay. I don't know if you can actually get it down lower than that. Okay, so there is this floor officially completed now that I've gotten that boo collected. So we are going to head out of here and just sort of see what's gonna be next. I think next is gonna be 14 F, which is gonna be the disco room. Oh man, that's gonna be fun. So here we are at the dance hall, and as you can see, we're only missing one gem, and it says that it's sort of outside of the boundary, which I think that means, actually, I don't know what that means. There's not multiple floors to this one. This is all, wait, 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 well, actually, I'm not on floor one, I'm only on level two. I've never been to level one. So there must be some kind of hatch somewhere where I can go underneath that I've been missing out on. So we'll look for that, we'll also look for the boo wherever he might be. I wonder if it has something to do with the, the carpet. Uh, hmm. I don't think it has to do with this because I'm pretty sure we did this. Where does this lead? It doesn't lead anywhere. Yeah, okay. Never mind. no, no, no. Goodbye, Guigi. Goodbye. So it doesn't look like I can move this carpet, at least from this side. I'm just trying to think. If we have to go under the floor, the best place would be looking in the floor to see if there's any kind of access point. The best way to check that would be to check the carpets. Not seeing much. I do remember doing this. I think this gave us a gem. Yeah, that did. It gave us a little block we can push. Classic Mario style. So I'm thinking that First off, let's go into the dressing room over this way. Maybe there is some kind of access around here that I missed out on. It's certainly possible. And I know that'll make this stuff move around. We've already experienced this and I think it gave me a gem for my troubles. Which is cool and everything. But it doesn't really clearly Show me anything, what about this? Like to me, this looks like something that could spin. But is it? I suppose not. Is there anything I could launch into it? I'm really not sure. Hmm, I don't see anything around here. Anything launchable? No. Cause this seems a little peculiar. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm being a dingus. Just, just do that. But I don't know if I, I think I might, yeah, I think I have done this. I don't know what the deal is. Why Luigi can't do it right now, Luigi can't. Yeah, we've already done this, so this wasn't really anything. Um, I am not sure. Ooh. You see, cause we've already activated this ATM as you can see. I was going to go over there for that. Oh, look at this. Okay, hold on. 
If I go across this, all these lights light up. I do not think this is something I've done previously. But if I walk off of it, they sort of turn off. That didn't work. Um. Oh, I need Guiji over there, okay. Oh yeah, this is like sort of some kind of puzzle going on. You see this? So, okay, let's try that and, oh, what's happening now? Look at this, it's a staircase, we figured it out. Awesome. That's really cool. Whoa. Okay, Guiji, you know what to do, break in there. We found the vault. We found the vault, snuck into the hidden vault, and there's a gem in there, there's a ton of cash. Oh my gosh, this might be the biggest like selection of money in the game that we've found so far. Definitely over a thousand gold so far. Get the yellow gem. Collected all gems! Oh my gosh, I collected all dance hall gems! I forgot that we've already gotten them all on the, on the other floor. So, oh my gosh, every gem in the game has been collected, but we're not quite done. Collected 6,000 bills. That's another fun achievement. Okay, so there was like 1,500 to $2,000 gold in that. Very cool, so that means two things. Two things left again. That is the boo for this floor and the boo for next floor. So let's look around for him a little bit and see what we can discover. I'm gonna guess he's gonna be in the disco hall up the stairs. Even though I have not felt the vibration for him just yet. Oh, here we go. So now it's starting to get a little wild. Definitely wants me to go into here. Now the problem is he could be just about anywhere around here. It's vibrating for that one, but not as much as it could. Going up this way, it's definitely starting to pick up the pace a little bit, but not too much over here. So if I had to guess, he's in this trash can. Sub dude names Boozition. Got a minute to listen to my demo tape. All right, instead of mixtape. There we go. All right, Mr. Boozition, I hope that you have a successful career, but you're going to have to do so within the vault. Uh, whoa, watch out, come back, come back. That's it. And there we go, captured all the, wait, wait a minute. Is there no boo on the final floor? Huh, all right, then never mind. I guess we only had one more boo left to find. How cool is that? So, what that means is just from right here, I'm gonna pause the game. We are going to go to the lab because I wanna talk to Egad a little bit and see what the dealio is with this. I don't know if he has anything he'll say or anything, but we might as well go and find out. So let's first talk to Egad. By the way, Luigi, how much money have you collected so far? I hope you'll be able to line your pockets while we're here. <laughs> uh, did you wanna speak with me? Do you have anything else to say? No, I guess not. Uh, so we take. let's take a look at the log. Um, in the log, as you can see, these are our main game objectives. These are all we need to do in the main story. Of course, you might be wondering, like, I, I said this at the beginning of the episode, I was like, but uh, again, why haven't I followed Mario and gone and beat the game? We already have, that was last episode, of course. Once you do that, the game saves right before you go into the section where you follow Mario and defeat King Boo, but the game doesn't save after that, so you can't really, come back and beat the game after you beat King Boo. You have to do this first. I don't think there's a special ending or anything, but maybe that's something I'll double check before we end today's episode. Um, but if we take a look at the achievements, I mean, some of these I'm not really too hung up on completing, um, but as you can see, we got very close to collecting 10,000 coins, got to a total of 3,000 gold bars, Not a, a little more than halfway for that one. Um, and then most of the other ones we got done. Um, things like collect all the gems in each area, collect all the gems in all of the hotel. So those were pretty easy to sort of get through because you know we just got all the gems. Collect all the booze in the hotel, there were 16 of them, so I don't know if I had gotten that one on the floor, maybe I had. Anyways, rode the elevator 50 times, that one shouldn't be too bad. And there's a bunch of mystery ones uh, that we just don't know, which is a little weird. Destroyed all the exhibits in the Natural History Museum, have not done that. Uh, cleaned up all the stuffed bunnies and twisted sweets. So a lot of random things that I'm not super interested in doing. Uh, just because it would just, it's just sort of things that eat up your time. Uh, but maybe at some point if you guys are super duper desperate to see me get those things done, we could. Um, but I'm happy to get done what I did. If we take a look here, I don't know if it'll actually even let me, yet. Yeah, it'll say it's sold out, because we've got them all. So the one thing I wanna do then, two things I wanna do. We're going to go ahead and check the vault right now and sort of see everything that's in there. And then we are going to uh, go and see the movie 
that uh, the one ghost made, and then we'll capture him. So as you can see, we've caught 187 goobs, 22 hammers, 24 oozers, 26 slinkers, four trappers, 252 mini goobs, and 39 mini hammers. Um, I didn't mean to go back, hold on. <laughs> we also have the rare ghost, which I still have not collected a single one of, so I'm starting to guess that might be a scare scraper thing. You guys can let me know. Um, I went back again, not what I wanted to do. I wanna go down. Uh, there's also the boss fights. We have Steward, Chambrea, Crawler, Chef Soul Flay, Amadeus Wolfgeist, King Mephrites, Dr. Potter, The Director, Ugg, Clem, Serpsy, Nikki Lindsay and Ginny, Captain Fishhook, Johnny Deepend, DJ Phantasm Phantasma Gloria, and then Helen Gravely. And it looks like there's no room for uh, King Boo because like I said, the game doesn't save after you beat him. I love how the Poltekinis is running around in there, super cute. She's not very happy about it though. I went back again, not what I wanted. Uh, because now we have also the Boos, you know, Kombooster, Boosmint, Gumboo, Booigi, Kung Boo, Boogie, uh, Boogie, <laughs> Bulldog, Boo at Arms, Bootinist, Bducer, Boons, Anubu, Bood, Boo Fuddler, Buccaneer, Body, Booty Builder, <laughs> Booty builder <laughs> position. All right, so I think that was all of them, but I, I keep on pressing the B button. Yep, yeah, that is everything, except for the rare ghosts, which I'm pretty sure must be a multiplayer thing. But if we go into the gems, as you can see, 1F, B1, B2, uh, wait, that's it? Okay, 2F, 3F, 4F, 5F, 6F, 7F, uh, 8F, 9F, 10F, 11F, 12F, 13F, 14F, and 15F all collected, but does anything happen for doing it? Special items, what are these? Oh, oh, hey. Okay, so we got suction shot type C. So we could equip this, and then also the flashlight type B. Oh, this must be what we get for collecting all the gems. Okay, so we get suction shot, shot type C is our gem reward, and then the flashlight type B is our boo reward, if I had to guess. So we'll take a look at those really quickly, um, and then we'll go to the one area and be done. <laughs> How crazy is that? So, skip all this, and now if we, um, have our light. I mean, it doesn't really show up very much, does it? But the suction cup is supposed to be, yeah, it's supposed to be like a gem version. Not the craziest reward in the world. Part of the fun was finding the gems, but I sort of wish there were bigger rewards. That's sort of a weird thing with Luigi's Mansion games, it seems. They don't give you major rewards for 100% that are like, wow, that was super worth it. But I feel like for this game, it was so much fun, it was just worth going through. But I can't deny I wish there was, there was a better use for rewards. I wish there was a better use for coins, because after you buy all those cartridges, there's really nothing else to spend your coins on which is sort of a shame, except for extra lives. Like, there's nothing that isn't a utility. No kind of extra bonus, like costumes or anything. That'd be really fun. Um, but anyways, we are going to go to floor, what is it? Uh, eight, Paranormal Productions. We're going to watch the movie with Luigi in it, and then as far as I'm concerned, we're basically done with the game. Um, next episode, whenever that might be, I do want to try the multiplayer of the game. But I gotta say, I've had an absolute blast with this series. It has been really cool. Definitely one of my favorite games of 2019. Definitely my favorite Luigi's Mansion game. And I can't wait to see what's next for Luigi and the rest of the Mario gang in 2020. I mean, hey, maybe Mario Strikers, maybe this is a hint. I don't know, I've never played the Mario soccer game before, but I would love to try it if it ever came out on the Switch or a sequel or whatever else might be coming. I would love to see it. I'm super excited for the future. Uh, but for right now, we are going into the director's room and I'm gonna talk to you really quickly. He's, he's Morty, yeah. Oh, at last, my masterpiece is complete. Filled with gripping action, dripping with emotion. Oh, and the suspense, it has it all. Feast your eyes on this. If it is not the very definition of true art, I do not know what is. Wait, how do I watch it? Oh, I think I have to roll the tapes. Okay, there's so much stuff in the way though. Will this actually do anything if I can get it properly rolling? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's like a classic film too. Three, two, one. Oh, it's like a black and white film on a dark and spooky night in the city. A <laughs> giant Luigi walks down the street. Does his rage know no bounds? <laughs> I don't think he's that angry, but this guy is! 
I like how it's sort of kind of the same cutscene we've already seen. Just like a different filter on it. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Oh, poor Luigi. Get knocked over. I wonder if this is actually my gameplay. Or is it just like something in the game? I don't know. No, I think it's something that's actually just like the developers put in. That's pretty cool though. Look at them, they're gonna do it. See you there, Mr. Godzilla, but not actually Godzilla. Wow, what a harrowing tale. I loved it. 10 out of 10 movie. Wow. Would have went to go see it in theaters. Well, that was great, I'm so glad we did that. Oh, now you can see the boo. <laughs> All right, now do you have anything else to say? No, that's it. Well, it seems like his life is complete. <laughs> He's like, no, wait, I still have more masterpieces to make. I'm sorry, man, but I gotta get you. We. <laughs> He's still framing the shot, even in his last moments. We got the achievement for capturing the. Uh, the director ghost. It's weird that we don't get an achievement for collecting or completing the gallery because I believe we have now. If we return to the lab, I'm going to skip all this. We're going to go to the gallery, just like this. Ah. Yep. And let's see if he's in there. I mean, obviously, I would think he is. So, switching all the way to the boss ghosts. Oh, did I pass him? I passed him. He's right here, Morty. <laughs> He's just chilling out on his director's seat. So there we go. I'm very, very happy with that. Hopefully you guys are too. Stay tuned for some multiplayer action. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Luigi's Mansion 3. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Gems, so you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.